Right, morning. So, didn't sleep too bad last night. Woke up a couple of times with the loons singing as they were passing by. But look at this out here now. It's absolute mill pond. Absolute mill pond. A few midges about at the minute. So, plan today is fishing rods out, breakfast, coffee, and a paddle somewhere, really. There's no plan with what we're getting up to today. We're just out two weeks just to enjoy ourselves out here. There's no set plan of how quick or whatever we need to do. It's all about just taking the outdoors in this next couple of weeks. I've done trips like this before where it's just like head down, feet forward, and you don't really get to enjoy yourself. But this trip is all about just taking our time and just enjoying what we're doing. So looking at the map, there's another campsite a little bit further down past the road bridge and then there's another one past that as well so uh, we'll probably end up camping on this lake again tonight but um, I like the idea of getting the rods out to be honest because it looks absolutely brilliant I can't see much on the surface loads of insect life on the surface but I can't see much fish flopping around so I don't think there's any trout in here so it'll be a case of some lures I think for the pike and for the perch on the go breakfast I don't normally eat breakfast but I'm gonna force myself today so we've got a couple of polar breads and some good old squeezy cheese this is reindeer meat and squeezy cheese this is great stuff about that is it doesn't need to be refrigerated you buy it off the shelf absolutely brilliant right, let's get some of that down our neck Right, let's see what damage we can do with a fishing rod. I've just got to put a new butt plug in my rod there. That fell out the other week. So I'm going to set up for spinning, I think, today. Maybe with a big lure as well. And we'll see how we get on today. Right, well it's getting out warm now, which is quite nice. Our bugs have all disappeared, thank God. So nothing on the fishing. Matt had a take off one, but uh, I had nothing, lost the lure. Hey ho. Right, it's about that time to get all of this lot packed away now. So as I say, there's no plan at all with what we're doing today. Predominantly gonna concentrate on fishing out of the pack rafts today. We, we can sneak into the little inlets and hit the reed beds and the, the lilies and stuff. So we've got obviously more access. Uh, with the pack rafts and what you have when you're fishing off the shore here. Uh, so yeah, so basically packing away and getting all of uh, the kit set up uh, for our days on the water. Um, I've just got to do a little bit of admin with the pack raft. I found out with those two 70 litre dry bags, as you pick up the pack raft, they basically slide down the front of the pack raft and then because I've got quite a bit of weight on the front as well, that tends to make the, make the bow dive a little bit. So I'm just going to um, have a bit of paracord I think and just attach both of the uh, dry bags together in the back so they don't uh, don't slip down uh, each side of the tubes. Right let's get all this packed away. 
and then uh, let's get on the water. We're going to have the wind behind us today as well, which is quite nice. Well, looking like a beautiful day. There's a hoopo. A hoopo. Yeah, can you see? Top of that the first branch on that pine. First dead tree, yeah. First dead tree. Yeah. Come up to the first branch that goes dead 90 degrees out on the left. A popolsko yes dudek. Dudek in Polish. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so just stopping off for some lunch. I've stupidly left all my gear actually in the raft, in the cargo fly, and I can't be asked to deflate it. So, it's nuts and M&Ms. It's all about just sort of learning what you need out for the day. So what I need to do is in my dry bag that's on the front, is just keep my cooker and a, and a soup or something for lunch. Well, I'll be all right. Got plenty of reserves for the day. So we're stopping at one of the Dano huts here for lunch. It's a really, really nice little campsite as you can see. And then there's another one further down the river on the other side, which uh, hopefully will be tonight's camp.
plenty of space for tents, but it'd be better hammock camping here. But absolutely beautiful. Can't beat that, can you really? What a view. What an absolute view. Shame there's no fish yet. Well, Matt's had one, but I've had nothing. And we were hoping for fish for tea. So we better get on it. Wish I could bring it home to you Baby, you deserve the moon I hope the stars are out tonight Reflecting in your eyes Baby, you deserve the sky Right, time for a little mini adventure. There is a lake over yonder, a little small lake. And uh, as we've not done too well here, we're gonna take a wander up there and see how we can get on. So just got a few bits in my hands and uh, let's see whether we can get some tea. I could really fancy some fish and some taters for some tea today. I just had a bash down in the little bay just down there and I've seen a load of little perch following the, the lure in. But, uh, but nothing substantial at all. Matt had just one earlier on. Um, but other than that, uh, it's been very fishless today. So I don't know where we're going, I'm just gonna have a look on the map and uh, we're gonna get up to this little lake. There we are, a scat from a moose. Let's give this place a go, it looks lovely. Proper proper little mountain lake it looks like oh missed him oh well no fish for me Matt said two three today so, old Terry Wogan, blankety blank today, so far. So we're gonna head back, get some food on, because we're both absolutely starving. And then uh, the idea is to uh, get the pack rafts out later on this evening. I don't get caught up coming through the bush. standing stuff yeah. like birch if it's still got the bark on it it's it holds the moisture in doesn't it that's why you can't beat a bit of fat wood can you that's yeah. certainly
the state of my face. I am rouge. And I even put factor 30 on. Right, so we're back at camp. Just lit the fire up. Just gonna have one of these little energy drinks here. Because I haven't eaten anything today because I made a mistake of not packing, or actually packing my cooker in, inside my raft today, which was a bit of a schoolboy error. But uh, I think by the end of this two weeks, I'll have everything all set up and I'll be uh, working. This is really my sort of first big pack rafting expedition, other than a couple of day trips. So it's just getting used to uh, what to carry, where to carry it. But I can definitely assure you I won't be carrying as much as what I'm carrying now. Definitely. Cheers. looks like my missus has been cooking that does actually but it looks good carbs and cheese mm. well I think I might have this while I sit here Cheers. Oh, that is heaven. A bit of dangle fishing. Right, well I'd like to say that we've paddled miles and miles today, but we haven't. We've probably only done about 2k. But it's been a really nice day, just paddling and fishing, even though I haven't caught anything. Matty's had a few. But I'm not bothered, to be honest. I really am not bothered. It's just so nice to be out here, midsummer. It's now, what are we now, 10 o'clock? Up past nine. It is now, and it is absolutely beautiful. It's been such a warm day. So, uh, just going to kick back and have some rum. So, skull and good midsummer. And my head's pounding a little bit as well. So, the rum slipped down very, very well last night. A bit of a tail walk. <laughs> 